الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الله To the next meeting. Oh my God. Oh. Hello? Hello, honey. How are you? Honey, I am so sorry. I won't be able to make it to lunch. Please. Yes, I, I can't just miss out on the meeting. Yes, I cannot miss the meeting, honestly. We have worked so hard to secure the contract. Missing out on the meeting will, will, will not be pleasant, honestly. I am sorry, I will make it up to you, okay? Trust me. Hello? Hello, honey? Hello? Hello? Honey? Hello? 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 What's going on? What's going on? Hello? 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 Oh my God. Oh my goodness. Something bad has happened to my wife. Turn this car! Turn the car! Oh my God. Hello? Hello? No. No, 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 no. No, 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 no! Turn this car. Turn this car, quick! Ya Allah, ya Allah. Move the car, move the car, move the car! For oh, you, yeah, mommy, where is she? Daddy, what happened? Let me help you. Daddy, where is mommy? What's happening? She's stuck in traffic. What's happening? You're scaring us. There's something you girls need to know. Your mommy's not coming back. She was involved in an accident this evening. And... She... She... She didn't make it. What? what? She's dead. I'm sorry, God. I shall give me water, okay? And bring it to my room, alright? No, listen to me. Just just listen to me. I hired you to help me take care of business. So why am I paying you if you're not competent enough to do the job? 
No, listen, 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 listen. I am just coming back from my wife's burial. I can't leave my girls alone. He said that. That is our biggest client. And we can't lose him. Listen, we've worked extra hard to obtain this contract. And losing it to our rival will be our biggest shame. And I won't let that happen. You know what? I'll be in the next flight to Portacourt. I'll call you when I land. Yes, I I have to be in Portacourt to handle business. I'll be back first thing in the morning tomorrow. Mm. It seemed important. Yes, it is. But don't worry, I'll call your aunt Nadine to come take care of you girls, okay? Shinto. Oh, I forgot she's sitting in Lagos. But me and I have said we can take care of ourselves. No, 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 no. You cannot. I can't leave you girls all by yourselves. I can't do it. Dad, I'm 14 and I have said it's 10. We are big girls now. And smart ones too. Are you girls sure about this? Yes, we can. I can assure you that. Have thought? Yes. Okay. I don't know what I would have done without you two. Mm, I think. Mm, Okay, that is ready to go now. Come. So, make sure you guys take care of yourself, okay? Okay. And I'll be back soon. Have a safe flight. Alright, have sex. Be a good girl, okay? Mm. Alright, come and see me downstairs. Help me hold this. Let's go. Alright. Carry this. Let's go. Heavy. Girls, I'm home. That is back home. Where are my girls? So you kept your word. Ah, yes, of course. Daddy always kept you his word. Oh, yeah. What is this? What happened to your head? I slipped and fell. You, you did what? You slipped? How? Where? Um, How did this happen? In the kitchen while she was trying to fix breakfast. Fix breakfast? Where's the chef? She hasn't come yet. She hasn't come. Hello? Where are you? Oh, you're still on your way. 
You know what? Don't bother coming. You're sacked. You're fired! How did you let this happen? Huh? Okay. Are you okay? Let me see. You okay? You sure? Okay. Yes, I'm fine. I should be asking you. Let's go. Let's go up. Take my bag. Nadine, you know how my job is and how often I travel. The girls really need someone to stay with them. What about your staffs in the house? I don't trust those guys anymore. I don't trust any of them. Imagine I just came back from a trip this morning to find Hafsat wounded in the head. Guess what happened? She slipped while trying to make breakfast. Hmm. She knew I wasn't around, so she decides to come to work anytime she chooses. But wait, Nadine, when are you rounding up this program? I see a few months to go. Few months to go? Meaning you're not coming back anytime soon? No, sadly. Why don't you hire a nanny? A nanny? Okay, now then, thank you very much. Oh, okay. Yes, hello. Um, my name is Omar. I am in need of a nanny. Um, no, I don't. Okay, that's fantastic. So, uh, wh when do you want me to come? Okay, perfect. All right, I'll be waiting for it. Thank you very much. Thank you. Oh. Um, I'm sorry, Mr. Umar, but we do not have any nannies available at, at this time. Oh. Okay, so when can I get one? Um, well, it might take about three to four weeks, maybe longer. Oh, that's a long time, Zena. I, I need someone to watch over my girls because I travel a lot for work. I am desperate, Zena. Is there anything you can do for me? Please. Well, sir, I normally don't do things like this, but um, seeing as you are in a desperate situation, I believe that I can send you my nanny on loan until we find you someone. You would do that for me? Of course, I will do that. But um, the issue is that she will not be able to stay completely. She would only stay when you travel out of town. But as soon as you're back in town, she will only be available to you when you're at the office and when you get back home, then she leaves. No, it, it's very simple. That's fair enough. I mean, <laughs> I, that's, 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 that's good. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh. Thank you very much. But what about your, your, your kids? You have one, right? Um, yes. Actually, I have two. <laughs> but my little cousin is visiting from the village, so she will watch my girls. Wait. They are girls too? Yes, both of them. 
Wow, that was very lovely. That was very lovely. Yeah, thank you. I mean, you seem like a very nice person. Which state are you from? Uh, well, thank you very much for the compliment. Uh, I'm actually from Kogi State. <laughs> You're from Kogi State? Yes, I am. <laughs> wow, I, I am from Kogi State too. Really? Yes. So, what, what part of Kogi are you from? I'm in Bira. Ibira? Yes. <laughs> Small world. I'm in Bira too. Yes. No way. <laughs> I'm serious. Wow. <laughs> wow. How's that with you? Oh, dang. <laughs> oh, um, it is so nice to meet you. Yeah, same here. <laughs> um, you, you know what? Let me just call my nanny and let her know about the changes. Okay, oh, okay, yes. okay. Thank you very much. Take this away when you're done. Okay. Okay. It's okay. Thank you, Mamuna. Oh, um, my fraternal twins, they are 13 years old. Oh, they are twins? Yes, they are unidentical. <laughs> awesome. Yes, yeah. Wow, it's, it's good. Yeah, they, sh they should be about maybe a year younger than Yes, they are younger. Aisha is 14 and my little princess here is 10. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, tell me about your father. Um, <coughs> excuse me. <clears throat> oh, sorry. Um, no, it's it's okay if you don't want to talk about it. Okay. <laughs> um, it's okay. No, it's sorry. fine. It's fine. Oh, sweetie. Oh, you you have something in the side of your mouth here. Yeah? Nail. <laughs> <laughs> mm. <laughs> this is really nice. It is. Mm. Um, Maimuna has stayed with me the longest because she's she's very good. Yes, I, I agree. She's really nice. She has been really helpful. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about Maimuna, yeah? Mm -hmm. yeah so, I was thinking maybe <laughs> you can transfer her to me. You know. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> and then, then yeah. I start staying here permanently, you know, and help me out in all the things she's been doing. Well, Mimuna is actually very, very valuable. She I mean, she's been She's been with me the longest. But I guess I could still give her a loan to you, but we will definitely find you somebody. Okay, sounds good. <laughs> Huffy, you like your food? <laughs> hey. <laughs> Hi. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Thank you very much, Mimuna. Thank Wait you. For me. Hi. So, you were a bit reluctant when I asked about your husband. Well, 
That's because there really isn't anything to talk about, so. He was a bad husband, was he? <laughs> he was a bad husband. <sighs> In fact, he was my biggest failure. Failure? Yes. He was a cheat and a liar. And honestly, he hurt I and my girls so much that my family had to force us to get a divorce. Wow. So you, you divorced? Yes, I am. So, um, I'm curious. How about the mother? Um, she was involved in a car accident. She didn't make it. Ah, Ita. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry too. Well, thank you so much for dinner. Uh, it was really nice. I enjoyed every bit of it. And your girls are really amazing. <laughs> yes, they are. <laughs> thank you for coming. So, I don't know, can we have lunch tomorrow? Lunch? Oh, yes. Um, Zainab, Isha Allah, I. I want to know you more. <laughs> um, oh, okay. Okay. All right then, I, I'll call you. I will expect your call. Okay. Have a have a lovely evening. Good evening. Okay. Good night. All right. My regards to the girls. Okay. Yes. Thank right. you. Bye bye. Okay. Yes, Mimuna, Let's go. Good night again. Good night. <laughs> Memuna, good night. going to marry her? Um, um, Nobody is marrying anybody yet. Listen, sweetheart. I love your mother so much. And no matter what happens in the future, she will never be replaced. Okay? She will always be the love of my life. And so will you and your sister have sat. Okay? Please. Do you promise me? I promise. I I miss her too. It's okay. Stop crying. Alright? It's okay. That is here for you, okay? <laughs> yeah, my, my girls do the same thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, so I completely understand. <laughs> uh, but, you know, your daughters are very sweet, especially Hafsat. She's such a good soul. I know, right? She is. And then you have been a very, very good mother to them. I mean, you're very fond of them and you take good care of them. Thank you. <laughs> Don't mention, but... I am a mother, you know, and mothers, we tend to be very nurturing and caring to every child that we meet. So, as far as I'm concerned, they are my children. That's impressive. <laughs> well, Thank you. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, Juice, that was so funny. I'm glad you handled it perfectly. Of course. Um, one thing about me is, in the middle of um, um, any pressure, right, I always have a way of 
you know, maintaining it, trying to sort out the issue before oh. it gets out of hand. I mean, that's why that's why you're where you are. Yeah. So, so I love to work under pressure. You know. So that's <laughs> it. <laughs> well, you're a very intelligent man. I like that. Thank you. Say so now. It's been a wonderful five months of a good and nurturing relationship with you. You've been a good and amazing friend to me. And of course, a mother figure to my beautiful girls. And I, I couldn't think of a better way to appreciate you for everything you've been doing. I couldn't think of a better way than saying to you right now, man. I want you to be part of my family. I want you to be part of our lives. I am my girls. Zena. Will you marry me? Oh, Omar. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> So beautiful, Omar. Yes. As beautiful as you are, in and out. You're so sweet to me. Thank you. Oh. Wow. <laughs> but, but, I don't. Have you told your girls that we're actually going to do this? Um. No, I didn't. But not to worry. I'll, I'll let them know later. Okay. Well, I just hope they will like the idea of me replacing their mother. Replace? Oh, um, I mean, you know, to be a mother figure to them, you know, it's just to... That's what I mean. Oh, of course, I, I understand. I mean, but nobody can even replace my wife. I mean, well, not to worry. The girls love you. And they're so amazing as well. So. <laughs> and they can wait to have you be their wow. mother again. I mean. This is so beautiful. Uh, Dad, you yeah. said you wanted to tell us something. Oh, yes. Um, uh, you know, I... I... Say it already. I proposed to uh, Auntie Zena. <laughs> what? Really? Oh, yes. Uh, we're getting married in a couple of weeks. She's not saying anything. Aisha, Aisha, where are you going? Aisha. Aisha, come. Come. Aisha. <laughs> What do you have to say? I'll just go check up on that. That people, 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 you don't know. That people, 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 you don't know. Yes, I did. I didn't know you were saying that. And now you're planning to get married in a few weeks. <sighs> yes, that's true. Just a small court wedding. But why do you need to move so fast? Well, lie, Nadine, I am not moving so fast. I am not moving on so fast. I don't even think I can ever move on.
I think my kids deserve a mother figure. All right? And Zainab connects very well with them. She loves them. She's so fond of them. You need to see how she nurtures and cares for them anytime she's around. Nothing. She's a very good woman. And if there's anyone I can trust to have the best interest of my daughters at heart, it is Zainab. I shall think that she wants to replace her mother. And she's not happy with that. Um, Nadine, please help me explain these things to her, okay? Maybe she will understand better. Okay, so enough of me. So, what about you? When are we seeing you? Hmm? Mm, I should be done with the program a month from now. Okay, that's good. You know what? The girls will be so thrilled to see you back home. They have missed you so much. Mm, like, I miss them too, like, a lot. Anyways, I have to get back to what I was doing before you called. Take care of yourself. Okay. Take care. Bye bye. Bye. Aisha. You, my husband. Hello, girls. Um, girls, meet your sisters. This is Aisha and this is Hafsat. Hi. Mm -hmm. And uh, these are my twin girls. This is Miriam and this is Tabitha. Hello. Nice to meet you, Miriam. Okay, Aisha, please help them take out some things from the trunk, okay? Please. They can do it by themselves. Uh, just... No, it's fine. So I understand. I'll, I'll, get, I'll get the bags. Okay, please. Let me now. Take it inside. Darling, my, my purse is in the back. The car, I'll get it later. Alright. Okay. Aisha, you need to behave yourself and be nice. Okay? Happy, let's go in. Should only say the guest room. Okay, there's the guest room. Guest room. Where's your room? Um, the next door. Um, I stay with my sister. Is there anything wrong? Okay, I'll just let you guys unpack. Oh my gosh, what did you guys even put in these bags? They're so much, so heavy. Um, so I hope I go off to a great start. Bye. Thanks. Bye. Have fun. Bye. Why will he give us the guest room? Because we're his guest. Duh. But he's married to our mom. And that should automatically make us his children. 
Yes, only verbally. Hi. The bathroom is is stinking. Thank you. Yes. And it's small. And then they had to add toilets inside it. So they should make a toilet. I just have to go and see their daughter's room. Help me, at least. They have a C? Yes, they do. They also have a king size bed with sub duvet and matching pillow. So it's in their house. Well, it's mommy's house too, isn't it? And we should be treated equally. Hmm. You know what? Maybe I should go tell mom. Can you finish unpacking before I start with your competitive self? Fine. This is everything is okay with me. It's their house. Did you see their skin? Who knows the kind of body cream they use? They're not even that beautiful. It's just because they have money. Can you do the unpacking with your hands and not your mouth? Just, just imagine that stupid Aisha telling her dad that we can handle our bags. In her mind now, we don't need assistance or what? So, she thinks it's better than us because, because they are rich. Hey, that's my bag. I'm just keep inside here. Eh? Just enter here. Oh, sorry. I'm so angry sometimes. What's going on? Easy. You're gonna hit me. God, I'm not doing anything. You're not doing what? If you don't help me out. Mommy, mm -hmm. there is something I want to tell you. What is it, sweetie? It's about your husband. Laila, keep your voice down. What? It's the room he gave us. What is wrong with the room? Why are you going to let him treat us like strangers? Like guests? He gave us the guest room, mommy. Tabitha, don't start, okay? Mom, there is no AC in the room. The fan in there is not working. The bedsheet looks like it hasn't been washed in two years. The toilet is not flushing properly. Okay, the madam, is smelly. madam, what do you want me to do? Well, your daughter's room is better than ours. Eh, hey, hey. it's their father's house. And it's not our mother's house. There's a bit of a problem eh? the The air conditioner in their room is not working. Is it all right if they can, you know, share your room for the night while we fix the AC in the morning? No, I don't think that's a good idea. Why not, my dear? We already tuned into your room four will just be crowded. But it's only for the night. I mean, you wouldn't want your sisters to sleep in that hot room, would you? Sisters? They're not my sisters. I and sure. we are not related. What? I'm just telling them the truth. Have said. It's alright. I understand why she's angry. Oh, do you? Aisha, don't talk to her like that. Have some manners. And it's okay. It's only for one night, right? Yes, just for tonight. Thank you. It's okay. She, she can sleep in our room. Have sat. Where are they going to sleep? In our room. It's big enough to contain all of us. <sighs> You're such an angel. Thank you so much. Thank you. Sorry to inconvenience you again, okay? Sweetie, tell your sister that you're sleeping here, okay? okay. Alright, let's go. Oh. 
I mean, you just had to. Can you just do something nice for them for once? It is shifts. We are they going to sleep here? One, two, three. How many are we? Two? Maybe one could as well sleep there. Can you just do some nice things? Good night. Just imagine that, that stupid Aisha, feeling like she's one Disney princess like that. Telling mom that we are not sisters and we are not related. But we are not her sisters and we are not related either. I just wonder how you think. Why is everybody so annoying in this house? I don't know what her problem is. She wants to start arguing with the owner of the house. I heard that. I'm, I'm a little worried. Are you sure that they will get along with my daughters? Oh. Zainab, you worry too much. Come on, don't worry. The girls will be fine, okay? Oh, thank you very much for letting me bring them. Of course, we are one big family now. Yes, indeed we are. Good. All right, bye. Um, I need to sleep now. I have a very long day tomorrow, okay? Um, oh. Okay. Uh, good night. Sure, good night. Uh, I'll just go to the other guest room. Good night, Omar. Did you sleep well? Uh, you? It was a peaceful night. Good for you. I rolled and tossed all through the night because there was not enough space. Well, thank God you're not sleeping here tonight. Mm -hmm. Let me go and bath then. You come bath, wait. Don't, don't start. Their bags doing here. Our clothes are gone. What? They replaced with their their clothes and shoes. They moved our things to where? Where they kept our things. But the thing is that why did they keep our things in the guest room? Because they want to take over our room. Where are they? I don't know. I think they are in the kitchen making breakfast with their mother. Okay, let's take their stuff to their room where they belong. Hmm. See, oh, that's tea for me. Oh. Yes. <laughs> Get 
What's your other one? It's the audacity for me. Oh. Audacity for me. Yes. Cut it old yes. looking. Yes. It's like they came from the bridge. Yeah. That's why you're acting like this. <sighs> Retarded. Let's go. <laughs> Let's just carry it outside. You'll come and carry it. Just drop it then. Big Disney princess going out of this. I don't know. Who is supposed to fight in their food? I should better prepare to burn because you're not only going to eat your food, also take over their room. Hey! I swear, Koreka! You're eating! Do you like the eggs? Oh, yes. I like it. It's nice. Good. What are you doing? Ethereum, <laughs> our bags are not here. They're in your room where they belong. <laughs> what? Oh, you think you can walk in here and try to take over our room? Do you even have any common sense? Excuse me. Oh, so you think just because we let you use your room and you lied that your AC in the guest room isn't working, you think you can just sort kick us out of our room? <laughs> no, leave them. They are obviously retarded. Don't you dare call us retarded. Are you okay? Don't you oh, call us retarded. I won't take you it. You can't handle the truth. You better start. Now get out of my room. We are not going anywhere. Get out. out. No. Out. Get out. Now. No. Get out. Tell your sister to get out now before something Look, happens. Tabitha, this is not your room. This is not your house. You can't just come here and try to take the what does not belong to you. Get out. Get out now. What's going on here? Huh? Dad, they are trying to take over our room. What do you mean, take over your room? Daddy, they came here last night with your mother, lying to us that their AC is not working. Well, it's working! And their mother convinced us to let them sleep in our room. And Daddy, do you know what we did? We let them stay in our room. Just to wake up home and find our things have been moved to the guest room. Is that true? It was Tabitha's idea. She didn't like the guest room. Why? Because it's better than... Shut up, Miriam! Why should she shut up? Eh? Dad, guess what? 
breaking news. I went to their room and I found out that their ace is working perfectly. Tabitha. Ah, Zena. Mm -hmm. I'd like to see you in my room now. Okay. <sighs> Sorry about this. Girls, go to your room right now. Get, Get out! Esukwai. <sighs> You convinced my girls to share their room with your daughters without telling me first. I didn't think it would matter if I didn't tell you. Zena, this is my house and I should know everything that happens here. Especially when it has to do with my daughters. Arehin, Esukwai. Please, I'm sorry about that. Arehin, please. Don't let this happen again. And for your girls, please talk to them. I don't want them disturbing my daughters in their home. Please. Sure. I'll go and get them ready for school. That people, 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 you don't know. That people, people. I didn't mean to. No, you did. I saw you. Why would you do something like that? Uh, That's a bit of... What is going on here, for goodness sake? Uh, Wait, you, you didn't hear them screaming? I was on the phone with the baker trying to get Aisha's birthday cake ready. I don't... What's the commotion? She went into my room. She took my birthday dress just because she wants to take a picture before I do. Tabitha, why would you do that? Because huh? she's too competitive. You shut your mouth, Miriam. No, no, no. Don't ask her to shut her mouth. Okay? When she's saying the truth. Listen, Zena. You need to do something about this girl. Okay? She cannot continue to create havoc in this house. This is not the first or the second time I'm receiving complaints about this girl. Okay, my husband, I know you're angry, but it is not fair to put all the blame on my girls. Your daughters have to also take responsibility for the part that they play in all of what this drama. Part? Tell me, Zena. What part did my girls play? Has my girls ever gone to your daughter's room to take their personal stuff without their permission? Have you ever, uh, have you ever done that? Why can't your daughters, especially this rascal here, respect their boundaries? I will not tolerate them harassing my girls in their father's house. Umar, rascal. Rascal? You know, it's one thing for you to remind us constantly that this is not their father's house, but to call my child a rascal. That's taking it a little too far. Um, I didn't mean it that way, Oh, come on. You know you did. Tabitha, let's go. No, you better talk to these girls. You better talk to them. Let me see the dress. See it? It's a big hole. See it. Can you imagine? Everything he's ever said or done is always about his girls. My girls this, my girls that. He even yelled at me the other day for scolding his Aisha. It's obvious that his girls are his priority and he will never put me first before them. Hm. Him making threats about ending our marriage simply because I yelled at his daughter is not something that a man who is in love with his wife will do. He hasn't even touched me since we got married. He's obviously still mourning his wife. And if I am telling myself the truth, he only married me to be his daughter's nanny. I won't be able to take you to school. So you just wait for Mommy Zena to take you girls to school, okay? And listen girls, try not to cause any problem. Don't get into any fights, okay? Especially you, Aisha. Hmm? 
Dad, I need to tell you something. Don't worry. When I come back from work, okay? Dad, I'm already late. Dad, wait. It's about Auntie Zainab. I saw her doing something yesterday. Night. Don't worry. We'll talk about it when I get back from work, okay? I'm already running late. Don't worry. Just, I, just a minute. I'll see you when I come back, okay? No, when I come back, you tell me about it. Okay. Bye-bye. Let's go. Oh, guys, I'm so sorry. It's your daddy. What happened to him? Where is he? His car was involved in a car accident. I'm so sorry. He didn't make it. He's dead. <laughs> Hey, Aisha! 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 Oh my god, Aisha! He's always in a hurry. Oh? Dad, if you'd have just listened to me, Dad, you used to be alive. You're starting again. I'm telling you, she has something to do with it. Stop, Aisha. Stop what? So you don't even believe me again? Because you don't have any proof. Alright, both of you, quickly, get up, pack your things, follow me to your new room. Uh, new room. room? Did I stammer? No. Good. Get up right now, pack all your useless belongings from this room, and move out with immediate effect. I don't have time to waste on hopeless girls. I'm not Let's... going anywhere. This is my room, my father's house. <laughs> Your father's house? Yes, Girl, my father's did you house. Hear her? her father's house. What about the father is not here to defend you, cuddle you, and, 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 and whatever it is he does? He's not here. This is my house now, okay? So get your silly self and pack all this rubbish and get out of here before I descend on you. I'm not, I'm not going anywhere. I'm not going anywhere. Drag this idiot out of this place, quick! I'm not going! Drag her this out! Is, don't touch me! If they come back, I'm gonna pack her in the chair! Drag her out! Don't sleep now! Oh. 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 Just go! Don't touch me! Don't touch me! Go! Go! So this is where you are going to stay from here on out. What? I don't understand. You want us to be staying here? If I slap you, this should be the last time you will question me when I'm talking to you. This is going to be your room from here on out. Oh, by the way, both of you are going to stop attending school. What? Yes. Because I will not pay your school fees anymore. And don't expect that there's going to be any staff anywhere to help you with chores. You are going to do all the work in this house. Yes. What about your daughters? They are in their mother's house. Why should they work when I have the both of you? What? <laughs> Listen, you will get up at 5 a.m. in the morning. 5 a.m.? Yes. You will sweep this entire compound and then you will make breakfast before my girls wake up. You will serve them, you will wait for them to finish eating, then you will take their plates to the kitchen and wash. And when I leave, 
to drop them in school, you will clean the entire house, our bedrooms, bathrooms, toilets, everything, and then you will wash all our clothes before I get home. Do I make myself clear? And what if we don't want to do that? Mm. <laughs> you are bold. Huh? You are feeling bold. Let me tell you what will happen. You will join both of your parents very fast because let me tell you, I will starve you both to death in this house. Do I make myself clear? Yes. Yes, what? Yes, auntie. Who is you? Who is your auntie? Eh? Do I look like your auntie? Yes, ma. Call me ma. Yes. Eh? Yes. Again. Yes. Louder. Yes, ma. Yes, ma. Good. No peace for the weekend. Don't trust nobody, I'ma get gold. The devil, you know, is better than the angel that you just met. Cause people lie and people pretend. Cause my eyes are missing and my ears are no. Oh, please, this come in. Me. Please, come in. Oh. Hello, Mrs. Zainab. <laughs> Hello. Hello, Barista. Thank you so much for meeting with me out here. You know, for personal reasons, I prefer to meet with you in my car. Yeah. Um. It's okay. Um, what can I do for you? Well, um, it's about my late husband's will. You know, I was discussing with him before he passed, you know, about changing the sole beneficiary from his late wife to his daughters. But then he decided that since his girls are still very little, it would be better for him to make the chief beneficiary his current wife, which is myself, because he trusts me to take care of the business and handle everything properly. Really? Yes. Didn't he tell you this? No, he only mentioned changing the will from his late wife to his daughters. Oh. And he never said anything of replacing the wife. Hmm. I'm surprised. Well, I'm sure if the accident had not happened, he would have mentioned it to you. So, Mrs. Zainab, what do you want from me? Well, I actually came to see you about changing the chief beneficiary from his late wife to myself, you know, and because of that, I came prepared to appreciate you for all the generous work that you are going to be doing for me from here on out, okay? Here you go. Oh, come on. Take it, it doesn't bite. So, do we have a deal? Well, okay, um, I'll see what I can do. Okay. But get me the document first. What document? What do you mean? Isn't it with you? No, it's not with me. He was going to bring it the day we were supposed to meet. So you're telling me that his will is in the house? Most likely. Okay, all right. Um, I will look for it thoroughly and I will bring it to you for the changes. That will be fantastic. Okay. I'll be waiting. All right. But for the meantime, I have some things I need to do, so we'll get along. No problem. Thank you for your time. You're welcome, madam. All right.
is it? work things. I'm not finding what I'm looking no for. No peace for the weekend. Don't trust nobody on the get go. Not as stupid. The devil you know is better than the angel that you just met. Cause people lie. <sighs> and people pretend. Where Cause my I eyes are absent. And my ears are bad. And people <sighs> lie. A snake that you can see. I'm going to throw all of these things away. Especially those not ridiculous disgusting mine. drawings. The surface of the water doesn't always show its real oh, depth. where did you put this thing? Where did you put it? I've looked everywhere. Where is it? And my Oops. ears have heard That people, people, people You don't know That people, people, people You don't know That people, 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 you don't know. That people, 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 you don't know. Girls, I want to ask you a question, and I need you to be honest with me. Hmm? Did your father leave any documents with you? No, no. He didn't leave any piece of paper, any file. You are sure? Yeah. Hmm. If I find out that you are lying to me... He did not leave any document with us, or did he? No. Hmm. You that you like running your mouth a lot. You better be telling me the truth, though, because if I find out that you are lying to me... Hmm. You know what? I'll reserve my comments. I will find out. By the way, your chores begin in the morning. Hello, yes? Excuse me, can I help you? Uh, I'm Nadine, oh my sister. Oh, I'm so sorry, Nadine! Oh, I, forgive me for not recognizing you. I've actually seen pictures of you. I've heard so much about you. <laughs> you have? Yes, I have. Okay. I, I was expecting to see you at the burial, but you didn't make it. 
Well, I came to see how the girls are doing. Oh, uh, <laughs> well, the girls, they're doing just fine. <laughs> mm -hmm. Just fine? They just recently lost their father. So how can they just be just fine? Well, oh, Nadine, you know what I mean. <laughs> no, I don't. Uh, <laughs> Where are they? They're actually um, in the house. You know, you can please come into the house and make yourself comfortable uh, and I'll, I'll let them know that you are here. Okay. Okay? All right. uh, yes. Um, also, please, um, can you just make yourself comfortable? I need to quickly check something at the back of the house. I'll be right back, all okay? All right, all right. Okay. Please make yourself comfortable. Thank Welcome, you. Nadine. <laughs> Hey, hey, hey. Sando, your aunt is here. Aunt Sinead? Whatever her name is, quickly, quickly, put yourself together. Listen, hey, if you tell her that I sent you to the boys' quarters, I will make your life a living hell when she leaves. And I promise you, she will leave. Do you understand what I'm saying? Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yes. Good. But yeah, get up, change out of this your clothes, and wipe the dirt off your face, quickly. <sighs> <laughs> oh my! Oh. I missed you. Oh, oh. I missed you so much. Oh, you girls have no idea how much I miss you both. I miss you so much. I miss you too, my darling. Okay, um, <laughs> Nadine, oh. let me get your bag. Oh, it's fine. I can handle it. Okay. Well, this way. I want to show you. Okay, guys, let's go. Please, I hope you trust nobody on the get go. The Cause my eyes are upset and my ears are hurt at people like a snake that you can see them bite. A pretty face is not always. I didn't know you moved in with your girls. Oh, yes. Um, your brother, he actually wanted a large family. God rest his beautiful soul. Yeah. Hmm. Sweetie, are you enjoying your food? That's a good girl. Hmm. I think it's time you girls, we went out to the salon so I can get your hair done. You know, hey, what do you think? How about we have a spa day, hmm? Just like we always do, hmm? That would be nice, right? We always have these outings where, you know, you know, whenever we go out to have our wee times, you know, it's quite fun, you know, girl stuff. <laughs> Did we ever do something like that before? <laughs> Miriam, <laughs> come on. Don't make me feel like I gave birth to a dunce. <laughs> she always confuses our spa outings with our girls' outing, you know. <laughs> it's not it's nothing. But the spa day is always perfect. You always enjoy it. <laughs> Eat your food. Hmm. I hope you're enjoying it. Very nice. I shall eat now. You're not. You're not eating it. You like spaghetti. Do you have a minute? Oh, of course, they come. Are you good? Yes, I just say something. Okay, it's about that that your father's dead. Yes. And I think Aunt Sina might have had a hand in it. Why did you say so? 
because I saw her with a man a night before the accident. She hope it will not be obvious the temper with the break. Yes, that's why she asked him to do it. Did you tell your father? Yes, I wanted to tell him, but he was in a rush. He didn't even give me a chance to say anything. Are you sure of what you're saying? Yes, I can't lie of such. Now she's only making both of us to stay in the boys' quarter. What? You're kidding, right? No, oh, you're kidding. No. I'll see you. Come on. Oh, God. Ah. Ah. You killed him, didn't you? I beg your pardon? You tampered with his brake to cause the accident. What in all of hell are you talking about? How could you do this to a man that accepted you and your girls into his home and then you have the impetus, the audacity to send his daughters to the boys' quarter? Okay, 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 hold on. Who is feeding you with all of these lies? Because it's absolutely not true. You know what, Zainab? And taking the girls will meet tomorrow. Uh, no, you will do no such thing. I will. You won't. I will. I am their legal guardian. If you want to take those girls, you have to seek permission from the family lawyer. You know what? You would regret ever stepping your foot into this family. <laughs> Nadine, are you threatening me? It's not a threat. It's a promise. You will hear from me. No. Oh, so we'll all sleep here tonight, okay? Let's see. Hmm? Oh, for her, you telling her that you're going to leave tomorrow. You can't leave here without us. I'm not leaving. I'll come back for you and Asad. Okay? I need to go meet Aunt in Lagos, who is the chief judge, to tell her everything you told me tonight. About the accident and that wicked woman taking you guys to the voice quarter. She will turn our lives into a living hell. Please don't just don't just let us stay here, please. We are begging you. She wouldn't dare. Now that she knows I'm aware of a wicked act. Don't worry, girls. I'll come back in two days then. Okay? She's a chief judge. Yes. I want to be a chief judge when I grow up. Does she have money? <laughs> She's very rich. She lives in one of the top estates in Ikwe, Lagos. And she has a lot of houses there, which make her very popular. When I grow up, I want to be popular and rich. So I will do things that I love the most. <laughs> yeah, you can be anything you want to be just when you believe in yourself and your dream you know what it's time to sleep i have money flight to cash tomorrow so i've said time to go to bed mm. okay all right girls mm. no don't worry i'll come back No 
peace for the weekend. Don't trust nobody on the get go. The devil, you know, is better than the angel that you just met. Cause people lie and people pretend. Cause my eyes are sin and my ears are bad. That people lie. Snake that you can see them bite. A pretty face is not always kind. The surface of the water doesn't always show its real depth. Cause my eyes have seen and my ears have heard That people, people, people you don't know That people, people, people you don't know That people, people Please be fast, don't be sluggish. Don't tighten my hand, ma'am. Pick it up. Thank you. Tabitha, Miriam, come outside. We're running late for goodness sake. Get in the car, get in the car. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Why do you always watch them go to school? How can you watch them take over our lives? I'm not. I just don't want to make it more difficult for us by disobeying them, their mom. And for the record, Aunt Nadine has already abandoned us. Trust me, she has not abandoned us. She's going to come back for us. She said she will call as soon as she gets back to Lagos. It has been two weeks, no call from her. I'm very, very sure that there's a reasonable explanation for that. Yes, it's called abandonment. She didn't even attend daddy's burial. And you think she'll still come back? 
Wake up and face reality, Aisha. I promise. She will come back for us. Keep telling yourself that. Please come and walk before she will come home and starve us again for not doing the work early. Why didn't you come back for us? Come and walk, Aisha. Barista. Madam. I'm quite worried. I've been searching everywhere. I've searched that entire house for the documents. In fact, it's what I've been doing for the last few weeks. I haven't found it. But that is the only place I believe those documents would be. Except... Except what? Have you checked the office? Of course I have. I gathered all his important documents and I searched through them thoroughly. It's not there. You need to check the office properly. There could be somewhere you've not really checked. The document could be some lying somewhere, please. La <sighs> illahu. Are you sure that you don't have it? I won't be lying to you, madam. Hmm. Well, okay. I'll keep on searching. Please, I'll be waiting okay. to hear from you. Okay. All right. All Take right. care. Thank you. Yeah, good day. Peace for the weekend. Don't trust nobody on the get go. The devil, you know, is better than the angel that you just met. Cause people lie and people pretend. Then, Aisha, if you make me miss one more time, I will finish this game in your body. <laughs> hey, 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 don't, don't make me flog you. Stand back. So, you did it on purpose, didn't you? No, I lied, I lied. I did not do it on purpose. Oh. Oh, you didn't do it. Yes. So what you're trying to tell me is that you're completely brainless, is that it? Yes, exactly, mommy, she's completely brainless. She keeps asking like she's the smartest in the room, why is she so dumb? Come on, algebra, so she'll fade woefully. Isn't it our assignment? Why is she getting punished for something that she didn't even study? Why are you always so stupid? Whose side are you on? Maria, go to your room, right now. Are you deaf? Miriam, mommy said you should go to your room. So go to your room. Mama, why did not do anything? Hey, hey, hey. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Go. Stand up, stand up, stand up. I don't think I'm going to school. I really should not eat. What is my business? Hey. What is my business? What are you telling me that for? Are you? Come on. Stand up right now. I see she was. And you will do a job. She will not try from me. here to the staircase and back. 20 times. Get up. Oh, 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 oh. Stand up. Begin. Oh, yeah. Front job. Front job. You should stop crying now. You know you know you'll make your head start hurting you. It's not even my fault. How she give me her daughter's assignment to do? It does not make sense. No, it doesn't make sense. It doesn't. But there's no way, nothing we can do. Actually, there's something we can do. What? I don't know. We need to go to Lagos ASAP. What? I'm serious. We need to go to Lagos quickly. We, we can't wait for Auntie Nadine to come and carry us. Do you even know what you're saying? Yes, I know what I'm saying. Oh my God. From here to Lagos is like hundreds of miles. Have sat. We need to get out of here. Before this woman kills the both of us together with her children. Then where is the money for the transport? I don't know. 
I will go to Vanessa's house. Her sister is schooling in Lagos. You want to go now? Don't go now before Auntie Zainab will catch you. I have an idea. What's the idea? Just wait here. What's the idea? Shh. Just wait here. Don't shush me. Go on, go. It's 28,500 the transportation fee. Yes. Oh, forget it. We're stuck in this stupid dump. No, why not? You have only 5,000. What are we going to use it for? Where is the rest of the money? Remember what Daddy taught us about investing properly? Yes. So we have 5,000 in our cap, so if we invest it properly, we can get enough money within the week. What are we going to invest 5,000 Naira into? Mm, drinks. What drinks? Soft drinks. You know, we can use some money, then we buy drinks, then we hook it at the side of the road. Hook? Yes. You know, the road is always busy and we can even sell more than one pack a day. What if she sees us? She won't see us. She's always in that office looking for some documents. How do you know that? I heard her talking to someone on the phone call. Okay, but do you have a plan? You have to have a plan. Actually, do. So here's the plan. So, we wake up as usual. We do our chores. Mm -hmm. Then when the twins go for school, we we'll go and come back by 2 o'clock to cook for them. Then when they come back, you know they always watch to watch film. So when they are watching, so when they are watching their film, we'll go out. We'll come back by five o'clock before she comes back. That's good. You think that is a good plan? I don't know. We just have to try. It better work because if it doesn't work, we're going to be dead meat. Not like dead chickens. I'm not joking. Same here. Auntie, don't lean there. Shift, stand, stand, stand. Did I talk to you? Then go back to your post. Come on, look at out here fight, fight, slap, living the light out of you. Get out! Now pass the water for me. Oh, 
Oh, oops, my bad. Did, did you see that? Hmm? Oh, you see? <laughs> Where did that go? They are watching their film now, so let's go back to the streets. Let's go. But there's no more drinks. Don't worry, we'll buy on our way. Let's go back. Do you have the money to buy? Let's go. So, how much profit do we make? We only made 1,000 Naira profit. Just 1,000 Naira? Yes, how much do you think we'll get before? We only invested 4,800. Just 1,000 Naira? Yes, half that. After roaming around under that hot sun. Yes, don't worry, don't be discouraged. Let's just focus on our goals, okay? Let's just buy the one they were begging us to buy. Fearless is expensive. So? Actually, maybe we'll invest in that tomorrow. Finally! Okay, let's see. Oh, the money. Let me hide it before this will be kept on our seat. Okay, let's cash on sleep. Lie down, lie down. Okay, I'm lying down. And where is this little rascal going to? I'm going to take out the trash. Are you serious? See it's money. Aisha, is there something wrong with your brain? You see, I've been telling you, you and your sister, you'll be running around this place like retarded chickens, completely forgetting what you're supposed to do. Why would you leave trash in this house? See it's money. My friend, will you hurry up and go and drop that thing before thunder will fire you? Of my house. Rubbish. How much? Nine thousand five hundred. Um, Nine thousand five hundred. Eleven thousand. Eleven thousand. Profits? Yes, just profits, that is 16,000. So how much is remaining for the transportation? Um, 28,500 minus 16,000, that is 12,500. 12, and it's not even up to a week we started selling this dinner. Maybe because we've sold four packs today. Well, we need to catch some sleep. Aren't you tired? Yeah. Aren't your legs hurting? Yeah. I'm just going to all I had is took it by the side. Oh, kiddo. That people, people, you don't know. No peace for the weekend. Don't trust nobody on the get go. Devil, you know, it's better than the angel that you just met. Cause people lie and people pretend. Cause my eyes are sick and my ears are hurt. That people lie, a snake that you can see them bite. A pretty face is not always kind. The surface of the water doesn't always show its real depth. Cause my eyes have seen and my ears have heard That people, people, people you don't know That people, people, people you don't know 
Let's go. of you go out today? No, ma'am. Mm. No, you have been washing plates inside. So you mean to tell me that you've been in this house all through? Yes. yes. If I find that you are lying to me, Check. Okay. Before we start out on the one, I'm gonna check if she's she has actually gone. Okay, okay. We have made nineteen thousand five hundred. <sighs> Profit? No, plus the capital. But we only need 9,500 naira to complete the money. Wait, hmm. isn't 28,500 naira for one seat? That means we need another 28,000 naira. We don't have enough time. We'll just slap each other. What if they don't allow? How would they refuse little girls? So, tomorrow could be the last day if you sell more than two packs. Yes. But how do we locate Auntie Nadine when we get to Lagos? Um, she said she lives in, um... Parkview Estate? Oh, she remember, thank God. Okay, let me write it down before we forget I have, it. I have some people. Okay, okay, get it. Okay. Let me put in this back. For this we should come and see people. Somewhere, little girls? Hmm? Am I missing something? Come on, drop this thing! Drop it! Get inside the house, now. Ask 
Sucks. Let's see that day. Oh my god. Oh my god. Let's see if it's from back for all. Yeah, now. What is going on? What's all the commotion in the compound about? Nadine? Okay, sir. That's her. Nadine, what's going on? What, what are you doing here? The fact you tried to kill me. Are you delusional? Why would I try to kill you? Because I found out you killed my brother. Are you on drugs? No, I'm not. Ha! No, it's clearly obvious that you must be on drugs because you sound completely insane. What are you talking about? You would know what I'm talking about. Ha! Officer, get him. Get who, please? Bring him! Oh, yeah. This way. This way. Madam, do you know these guys? Do, do, do I know you? I have never I mean, seen him don't before know in his him. life. I've never seen him before in my life. I don't know him. Do I know you? You don't know me. Do I know you? You don't know me. I don't know. Wait. Is this a joke? You don't know me. Now I get your number. What, what, which number? What number are you talking about? You wait now. Hey, God. This is all a mix-up. I'm sure. I'm very sure of it. Huh? I'm very sure of it. It's not. It's not me. You're not calling me. No, 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 no. This is a. This is a setup. This is. This is. No. This is wrong. This is wrong. It's, it's, Madam, they're under arrest. It's a setup. It's, it's a setup. It's a setup. I'm, I've been set up. This woman is setting me up. Put your hand. Are you sending message? Madam, anything you say or do will be used against you in court of law. Nadine. Nadine, how we get to the bottom of this? You <laughs> just. You won't keep that simba. Eh, no, everything is fine. Everything is fine. Everything is fine. Just calm down. Everything. Is, it's a mix up. Hey, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I will sort this out. I promise. Don't cry. Don't cry. Don't cry. Okay. Just calm down. Okay, so calm down. Everything will be fine. It's okay. It's okay. Don't, cry. Don't cry. My brother's will. What? I mean, it's, it's, it's all a mix up. Okay. Officer, mix -up. Promise, please. get a house okay. of this place. Please, please don't. Please, it's just for those Please, please, please. Don't have to push me. Don't have to push me. My children are here. You don't have to push me. I'm going to say, 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 i am Face of the water doesn't always show its real depth. Cause my eyes have seen and my ears have heard that people, people, people you don't know. 
Tell me at the back. 